several months back, I posted a video talking about what it was like to use Chrome OS in 2023, basically reviewing the operating system in its current state. Now, some of the things I talked about in that video were the fact that the operating system has actually come a really long ways towards becoming a fully fledged desktop operating system. Many features from Windows have sort of been brought over, but there were some really large deficiencies in particular with window management. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how some of those features I literally addressed, features I specifically said I wanted, are now coming to Chrome OS. I took one of my Chromebooks, we put it into canary mode, and we're gonna look at those features now. So like I said, all of this stuff is currently in Chrome OS Canary, which is like the earliest version of a beta that they offer. You're not gonna to wanna to run this because it's gonna be very unstable. You can see the build number that I'm currently on. If you wanna check it out, you can. But like I said, I would not recommend doing this if you're planning on daily driving this Chromebook. Let's go ahead and open up a couple of Chrome windows. We'll just do three for the heck of it. This first thing that I wanna talk about is related to this feature up here in the top right, where if you hover over this icon, you get your snap window presets, very similar to in Windows. When you pick one of these icons, one of these locations, it's gonna throw your window into that place. Now, currently in Chrome OS, that's all that happens. It will throw your window into that location and then you have to go to the other window that maybe you want to be splitting the screen with it and do the same thing over there or perhaps drag it to the edge and it will snap that way as well. Of course, in Windows, when you snap something to a side, it will show you the open apps, the open things you already have. You can pick one and it will fill in that space for you. That was a huge thing for me that I said Chrome OS absolutely needs. And now as you can see, I've picked this side and what do we have here? We have our other opened up applications. I can pick one and there you go. We now have these things split together. I don't remember if this is in stable or not, but they also have a handle here in the middle now as well where you can sort of change the size of these things and they're both being adjusted. I don't know, like I said, if this is in stable or not, but at least for a long time, you would be adjusting one or the other, but not both. So that is also a really, really nice change. Now, another cool thing about this is when you hit your multitasking button, you can see that these two are actually staying together. They're being grouped. So I can show you this like this. Let's pick this one. And now if I go back into the multitasking and I pick one of these two, it's not gonna only pull up settings, it's gonna pull up the Chrome browser that was linked to it because they are grouped together. This is just like how it works on Android where two split screen apps in your recents will stay together. So what they've done here is basically copy some cool stuff from Windows and steal some cool stuff from Android and sort of combine them, bring them together. And it's something that I definitely love seeing. Hopefully there's many more cool updates and upgrades like this to Chrome OS as we go forward. But like I said, this is one of the ones that I really wanted the most. It's stuff that I directly called out in my video. So imagine my uh, surprise and happiness when this stuff has rolled out or it will be soon rolling out for us to be using. Now, because this is in Canary, that means it might be a while before it's in dev and then beta and then the public release. You probably saw some weird graphical errors in there as well where that handle in the middle would appear before the apps were actually in place. These are early days on these features. They're gonna be polished and refined before you get them. When will you get them? Very, very difficult to say, but they are in the works and they are indeed coming. I do wanna point out one more quick thing with this. If you do wanna test this out, it's not gonna be there straight away just because you were in Canary. You actually have to go into your Chrome flags and then look for this Ash Snap Groups and enable that. It'll force you to reboot and that's what will actually enable some of the stuff that you are seeing. But at any rate, guys, pretty cool stuff. If you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.